Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This is week 40, 40 of the crossword collage that I have been um, doing and inviting others to participate. And I'm not really good about putting the hashtag up, probably in the last 10 videos I've forgotten, but it's hashtag 2023. I didn't change it to 24 because I started this in 23. So it's hashtag 2023 CW for crossword collage. All right. So if you are participating, I know Susan um, Gaze Away is. And Susan, you're very good at bringing up the hashtag and explaining my collage to everyone. So thank you. Um, but if you if you are participating and you're on Instagram or on YouTube, use this hashtag so others can see your work. Uh, so I have all my scraps here. I have my saying mixed, mix, I have my saying all mixed up. I have my saying all written out. But first what I want to do, a lot of gals have contacted me and they've received their illustrated bird book. I know everybody's very anxious and excited to start the bird collaging. First, what I want to show you is what I'm going to be working in. Now, at times I may use these jumbo, these are the jumbo playing cards that I was talking about before. You can get these on Amazon. They actually come, you get two packs um, of these cards. And these are really cool. These are five by seven, but you don't need to use playing cards, okay? You can use whatever you want. If you want to cut a five by seven piece of card stock out, if you have a book and you want to um, make a, a junk journal, you can do it however you want. But I do want to show you one thing here. And I may have to get my bird book. So hold on one second. Let's see. Here it is. There she is. All right. So because of these, some of these images, and this is a lot of, a lot of girls have ordered this book. And I'm so happy for you. I'm so excited. Now, like I said, some of the images are rather large, tall. I want to get to one image that I've cut out and I've saved. I think it's in the parakeet, the big parakeet section. Got this. This one here, okay? Obviously, if you want to use some of these beautiful birds here, and they're not going to fit either in a junk journal or whatever, it's not going to fit on a card. I'd hate to have you cut the tags or the tags the tails off these are a lovely size and if you remember this is the book that I showed where a lot of my bird images went out these are the cards right here Let's see these here are the cards that I used um, just trying to see this swan came out of the book so that fit quite lovely on there almost all of these birds did come out I did have to look for smaller ones okay and different sizes if you have a larger one you may want to go horizontally however this year now I may use one of these and I may put it in the book um, I'm going to give myself options. This here is our company, Champlain Stone. These are our old product guides, okay? These measure uh, 12 by 9, I believe. I'm so unprepared today. Uh, now, these measure, let's open it up. About ten and three quarters by eight and a half. Okay, these are really nice papers and pages in here. It's it's a really it's it's a nice it's a nice paper. Okay, now 
I'm going to be using, this is an old one. This is, we have boxes and boxes and boxes of these. These we send out to architects uh, and dealers. And we always have more made up than we need. Um, it has a nice cover on it. It's sturdy and it's bound really well. So what I decided to do this year is I'm going to be using this book. And the reason I'm using it is I can use it horizontally or I can collage verti vertically. And these larger birds will fit right on there. You probably can't see it on there. How many parrots do you see in a stone quarry? Let's see if I, so maybe something like this. I know the, um, you can probably see it better there. But these birds will fit beautifully um, in the vertical style of this book. And the pages are nice enough where you could use the front and back. If it gets too thick, you can tear pages out. Now, what I'm willing to do um, for those gals that have the book, the illustrated book, this one here, I'd be more than happy, because like I said, some of these images are really large, and if you want to use something, if you have this book, I know there's a handful of you, I would be more than happy to mail you one of these old product guides that you could work in collage in. So what you could do is send me, I know Amy got one, um, Debbie, I think Debbie has one. Yeah, cause Debbie got one because she can't pick hers up. She had it mailed some <laughs> to her sister. She'll be picking hers up. I know there's a couple other gals that received their book. Um, if you would like one of these sent to you, just give me a shout on my um, email at Nellie and Ruth Designs. It's Nellie and Ruth Designs at gmail.com. Uh, it's in my in my description and in my on my channel. And I will I can pop one of these in the mail to you. I don't think it's gonna be that much. It might be five dollars at the most uh, to send this out. So I don't mind sending you one of these if you want to work in something like this. So I'm just giving you an option. Um, but that's what I'm going to be working in because I do want to use some of those bigger, those larger birds because they're just so pretty. Um, all right, so getting back to this, I just wanted to let you know about that. So getting back to today's collage, um, I have a bunch of scraps here. I really wasn't quite sure what to do, and I went, I have a drawer that I went to and it just has all kinds of scraps in it and junk. Someday I'll have to clean it out and go over that with you. Um, and then I went to my, I have a drawer that has all the ephemera that I've made over the last two years. I'll have to get that out and show it to you. I need to make a journal and just start putting all of it in there. So these are all little scraps that I pulled out of my my bin. I'm going to use those, incorporate them, and then I also, out of my drawer where I have made ephemera, um, I love making these little round circles. They're pockets, and this is a punch, and then I add this cute little bulb pin with some sari silk and a button and a charm. And I just collage the front. That's just a little tag. I'm going to incorporate that in today's page. And then I have these two scraps of paper I thought would go well with what I chose. I have that. These are the gals that I picked out. She's got something. I think this is supposed to be a shelf behind her, but I'm taking this little knobby off. Okay, so I have that there, I have that, and then I have this gal. 
All right. She looks annoyed and she looks really perturbed, a little snobby with her gloves on. And I don't think her day is going very well. And you'll see why I picked the phrase or saying that I did. Like I said, I didn't know what I was going to do this morning until I found, until I pulled that. So as I was going through my drawer. I grabbed this when this is uh, Rosalie's there in Pennsylvania. Uh, last month when we went to our friends, um, their son goes to Villanova in Pennsylvania. So we went to a Villanova college. Villanova is a college for those that don't know. Um, we went to one of their big basketball games. It was a home game, and we went to a place called Rosalie's, and um, we had brunch, and it was just the cutest little, very boutique-y spot, um, and these are the cards that they hand out. These are their little postcards and such, and I, I grabbed two because I thought, oh, these this would be fun to work with either in a collage format or something. So when I saw all we do is brunch, 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 it's all they do is brunch, I said, all right, that's, that's going to be my theme. And these are the two gals that are interested in a really good hearty breakfast. All right, these are breakfast girls. So my saying this week is the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. And their plans obviously went awry because they got up early and put their Sunday best on. They wanted to have breakfast before they went off to church. And they got to their place, little, I'll say they're out of towners. And they went, they spotted Rosalie's, and they heard about it through other people. And when they got there to have breakfast, they said, mm, sorry, all we do is brunch. So they missed out on brunch. And um, I think, I think they're both quite perturbed. Um, because they are going to miss brunch because the time that mass starts. So I just thought that was, I just thought that was going to be a fun little collage today. So I have these two here. She's trying to talk sense into her. She's just not listening. So I have them there. We're going to put them right there for a minute. And we're going to get this page over here. Maybe I'll get the bottom. I want to have a pocket on here because I want to make some notes from our trip. So I think I'll do the pocket first. So like I said, I grabbed some paper here. And we're going to start here to make a pocket. And as I look out my window, I'm having a whiteout right now because... It's quite windy here, and it's snowing. Oh. I looked back at my photos yesterday. I contacted my, it was a halfway decent day yesterday. Cold, but it was pretty decent. So I contacted my guy. I'm not calling him a gardener or a landscaper. He just comes and he helps. He does a spring cleanup for me. So I contacted Chet yesterday, and I said, you know, could you get me on the schedule for a spring cleanup? And he said, yep, sure. And I said, boy, this year is a lot different than last year. I said, last year at this time, I looked back at my photos 
and last March, I don't know if I can find it on here, um, we were buried. I mean buried in snow. And I think I can find it. Yeah, here's a picture here. This is March 14th of 2023. I don't know if you can see that. But that was my yard. That's our, we have a, a cat snowblower, caterpillar, because it's so big. That was March 14th of 2023. That was my yard. Um, it was a mess. I mean, I've never, we have just never had this. I can, this here. Underneath that mess is my barbecue grill, my outdoor barbecue grill. So it's, when I look outside today and I see it snowing, I'm like, please, Lord, please do not, do not dump on us again like you did last year. Um, I didn't think the snow was ever going to go away. So, I just, I don't like the snow. Not this time of year anyways. And of course, Chet had forgotten about all the snow we had gotten up here because um, they don't get it down, you know, kind of in, in town where, I would say in town, uh, the closest, you know, town, um, where we do all of our grocery shopping and stuff. It's about 25 miles from here, 20 miles, and they don't get it. Um, we are, we are the only ones that get hammered with this snow this time of year. So it, it wasn't much fun. Okay, so there's my pocket, all right. And as you can see, you can definitely make a pocket out of um, and this, yeah, this I kept open because I think I want to put her, I want to put her leg down in there. So I think I want the girls here. I think I do. I don't know if I want, I'll put them afterwards. I thought I might put her, I might put her over here. I planned on putting her here like this, but I'm not sure. I may put her on the other page. So I'll set those aside and then we'll start over here on this side. And I like both of these. I think this matches better. But the polka, I like polka dots. Polka dots might be fun. And then I could accent it with this. So if I put her over here, I might put her here. Either one will go quite nicely, I think. I just have to decide which one. And I don't like that yellow flower. I'm going to be, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And if I accent this here, I think I'll use the polka dots and accent with this. So I'm going to cut this, I'll cut it right here, just below that 12. And I can't believe <clears throat> how fast this week has gone. I actually had to look at my, I had to look at my um, calendar yesterday because for some reason I kept thinking, it was Monday, because when I put my, 
when I put up my um, Rolodex card, I said, oh my goodness, I did it a day early and I didn't even post it over on my Patreon because they get early access. And I'm like, what am I doing? Then I looked at the calendar and I'm like, oh my goodness, it is Tuesday. I just, I don't know where the days go. I really don't. All right, so then I can put that down there like that. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I will overlap this first. And my girlfriend's hours got cut at work. She has a big job. And talk about the less the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. She's she's my crafty friend, Lee. And um, she has a very big job. And she is retiring from it. She doesn't have to retire. She's just leaving her position to do her crafting full time. And she was taking all of her, her money from her paycheck and putting it towards her mortgage. And she has a little countdown calendar. And when the owner came to her and told her, he was cutting her hours. Oh, my Lord. That was not fun. That was... That was a tough conversation when I was talking to her to try to keep her positive and... Yeah, so you never know. You know, you, you do plan something. That's pretty. You plan something and everything goes awry. But that's when your faith and prayers need to come into play and a positive attitude. And then I, I don't think it makes it. It's bad, but you'll you figure out a way. You always figure out a way. To make things work, right? I was talking to my son this morning and, you know, we were talking about just the state of the economy and um, he's the one that, he rents um, our carriage house out. It's a beautiful carriage house. And he and his wife rent that. But, you know, they want to have a family and it's, it would work to have a child, to have one, but they want to have three children. They want to have a nice family. And um, he says, Mom, he goes, you know, we were looking at houses the other day, and we saw a really cute one, you know, down in the community where all the shopping is and grocery stores. And he says, Mom, it was over a million dollars. And I'm like... Yeah, for that area, it's, I mean, if you want a halfway decent, if you want a safe place to live and you want, a, uh, you know, decent neighbors, nice neighbors that take pride in their property and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I said, Michael, it's, I said, why do you think that we encourage you to live at home stay at home and pay this minimal rent as long as you can. I, I'm like, I don't, he goes, mom, I don't know when we're going to be able to move out. We will. He says, I, I don't know when. I said, I hear you. I, I go, I get it, Michael. I said, but it's not only just, 
it's not the mortgage. It you, I says, what you're going to have to do is if you find a place before you even think about it, you got to go down to the municipal center. You got to have them pull the records for that property. You have to see what the water bill is, what the electric bill is. You've got to see, I said, they have all of that. You've got to see what the town taxes are, the school taxes, what you're going to pay for water. I'm like, there's just more. you got to look at the lawn. You have to see what size the lawn is. Are you going to want to mow it? Are you going to be able to afford a riding lawnmower? Do you want to take all day Saturday and part of Sunday and mow a large property? Are you going to be able to afford lawn care? These are all things. you got your electric bill. It's a big house. You said it was over 5,000 square feet. What kind of furnace system does it have? Does it have fuel oil? Does it have natural gas? Because, you know, natural gas is piped in in some of these towns. I go, honey, you have got so much research to do. And I go, it's, it's just the way it is right now. Back then, I said, when your father and I built, bought this land and built, we didn't even think about, we didn't even have to worry about the school taxes. Now they're astronomical. It's ridiculous. So, um, there, it, there's a lot. There's just a lot to consider. And I feel sorry for all of these young married kids and with the state of the economy, you don't know if, if your your jobs are secure. I don't know. It's it's scary. It's a scary world right now. I said, just be lucky that you are able, you're in the situation that you you can be in, and you can just sock as much money away that you can and you don't have the expenses that you do or the taxes or yeah But it's it's tough. Same with my with his twin, you know. He's here. He pays his rent, room and board. And it's it's he's socking away all of his money. Cause I told him, I says, do not go out and rent an apartment for nineteen hundred dollars, sixteen hundred dollars a month. It's you'll end up back home. It's not worth it. You don't even have a garage to put your car in. And he has a really nice car. And it has to be put away for winter. I said, if you do that, you're also going to have to, um, you would have to find some place to store it in the winter. You have to pay for that. Um, His difficulty is, you know, he's on these stupid dating apps, and that's not a lot of fun either. And he says, Mom, he's like, you know, you meet somebody, and I said, yeah, and then you say, oh, you live at home with your parents? I says, I told him, I said, tell him that we're, we're older and we're living with you. This is your house, and we're living with you <laughs> because we can't afford to live on our own. <laughs> he says, there's a twist. He went out on a date on Sunday, and I'm like, okay. I go, does she have her own apartment? He says, no, thank God she lives with her grandparents. And she's 28. <laughs> I says, oh, that's good. But... From what I understand, she works two jobs. She's an RN. And she has to work two jobs. So I don't know. I just, I feel bad for these kids. I really do. Okay, I'm thinking about putting her right here. I think she'll fit in just fine. 
there. Let me cut this down a little bit more. I want that polka dot. I want that polka dot to show. All right, I think I'll put that there and maybe one on the bottom. So I hope you all are doing really well today. I hope your family is well. And, you know, I, I hope that you're, if you have children, I hope they aren't having difficulties. And I just, I just want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to be happy, everybody to get along, everybody to help each other. There's greater rewards in helping others than just being a self-serving machine, which unfortunately a lot of people are, and it makes me sad. None of you, I'm just saying in the other arenas that we have to deal with. <laughs> um, so, but I just, I want everybody to be happy and prosper and do well. long as you have a roof over your head and you can put food on your table and you have your health I don't think there's anything more that you need to ask for that's that's it in a nutshell I think for me anyways all right I'm going to put this on here this is where I'm going to put my little pocket and I'm going to put it at an angle so this kind of dangles out over the side here. And why is that flipped? There we go. So I think that'll be cute there. And I want to thank everybody for joining in today, listening to me ramble on here. It's all because of this saying, I guess. The saying and the snow outside, which is accumulating. Yep, and if you're new to my channel and you like to listen to me ramble on, I'd love to have you subscribe. And for my new subscribers, thank you. I'm so glad that you're here. Don't be shy, leave a message, a comment. I'm going to put her here. I don't think we need to do a lot to this. Maybe I can find a little saying for down here. I'm going to put her right on that little ledge. I already have a saying. I really don't need one. And I want to thank everyone who sits with me at my craft table on a continual basis. I appreciate you so much being part of my little crafty world here. And um, for all my patrons over at Patreon, thank you. All right, now we got that chicky chicky there, right? The one that's perturbed that she can't get her brunch. All right, and I feel like I just need a little something here. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know. And I am going to put her here. I'm gonna put her right in there. 
just feel like it's missing. I just need a little filler there, but I don't know what. I do not know what. Got to think about it. And I still have room to put something in here, even with her there, if that's fine. So I got that pocket still. And something down here, I don't know what. Let me take a look. Maybe I can put a little sprig, a green sprig or something down there. Let me take a look to see what I have, and I'll be right back. All right, I found another piece of this, which <clears throat> just happens to go... I can put it right here, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this down a little bit here um, so I can get her shoe down around there. And put that there. And I think that will be good. I think that'll be just fine, just like that. And then it will be a continuation of this over here. I just have to ink it a little bit. Oh, so I hope everybody has a nice weekend. And you make the most out of your family days and your crafty days. And if you're in a warm weather climate, your outdoor, your outdoor fun, whether it be meeting with friends for a barbecue or going to a little craft festival or something. Something, something, something. So... Well, so that is it. Um, I think that's another cute. It's amazing to me. This is a real pretty pink. When I stand up and look, it looks very red. It's obviously my lighting, the overhead lighting. Because these are just really pretty. This is like a fuchsia. This is more of a fuchsia color, not a red. So... It'll be interesting to see. And I have my little tag here. I've got my pocket here that I can make a note when we went to Villanova to have our brunch at Rosalie's. So that is it, my friends. Thank you for sitting with me today, listening to me rant and ramble on. Um, but let me know, seriously, let me know if you would like one of the... Um, the books to collage in. I'd be more than happy to send you an old product guide, but I'm sure you have something to use. It's just an option. And um, that is it. So I am going to bid you adieu and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.